Hi, welcome to 5 Minute Monday. Today we're going to talk about something that you're going to use an awful lot on the drum kit. It's a rudiment, but it's the, it's the most widely used rudiment on the drum kit, and that is the double stroke roll. Uh, and you're thinking, no, oh, double stroke roll, let's talk about something more exciting. Well, I'm telling you, there's not a day that I sit down behind the kit that I do not use the double, the double stroke roll. So, uh, for those of you that don't know what the double stroke roll is, um, it's right, right. Left, left, right, right, left, left. So, sounds like this. Okay. Um, give you a couple of examples of the opening piece, the opening segment uh, had a lot of double stroke rolls in it, you know. It's just so, it's something that you'll use a lot. So I'm going to give you an exercise that's going to make your double stroke roll more consistent. Uh, what you're going to want to do, you're going to practice the double stroke roll four different ways. Okay, you're going to start right, right, left, left, like this. Okay, practice it with and without accents. In other words, uh, that was with and without. Where you want them to sound even. Okay, so right, right, left, left, that's your first one. Your second one is left, left, right, right. Okay. Now the third and the fourth one are what's going to make your roll more consistent and, and it's going to make it to where it goes without, without going up and down. And that's you're going to go right, you're going to start off with one stroke on the right hand and then go into your double stroke roll, left, left, right, right, left, left. So it's like this. So the second, the second note of, of each of your double strokes, you're flip-flopping and making that the downbeat. You see what I'm saying? So in other words, you're, what you want to do is you want to then uh, make each of those strokes uh, louder than the other stroke. And what that's going to do is that's going to build up, so it's like working out with weights, it's going to build up your second stroke, which is going to even out your roll. So. And then move it to the other hand. Left, right, right, left, left, right, right. So like this. Okay, and that is going to, and practice, uh, practice it uh, going uh, slow, fast. Practice it with a metronome as well. Set a click. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm telling you, uh, if you if you get that down, and don't try to go too fast. Uh, put put the click where you're comfortable. Start slow, and 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 work your work your way up. Uh, Jim DeLong, one of my drum teachers uh, in college. Uh, just an amazing, amazing drummer used to say, uh, "Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect." So, uh, don't practice it too fast, or else uh, you, you don't you don't want to practice sloppy. In other words, take it up to where you can do it, to where it kind of falls apart, then back it down, and 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 then just nudge it up from there until you can can get it perfect. So that is our five minute money today. It's a double stroke roll exercise. It's a great warm up as well. Uh, a lot of times when I'm before a show, I've got a rubber practice pad. I've got these really heavy metal drumsticks. Uh, they're about uh, six, seven, eight times the size, the, the weight of regular drumsticks. And I will practice uh, single stroke rolls and double stroke rolls. Just like that. And then...
So uh, check that out. Enjoy that. Uh, like I said, the double stroke roller you're going to use for the rest of your life. It's just it's just very 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 important, and it's something uh, definitely worth working up. Uh, have a great week. I'll see you next week. Next week we're going to talk about train beats and uh, a lot of fun. So we're going to have a blast. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye.